All right. Good evening, everyone, um, and welcome to a Bowls Victoria Bowls Link training webinar. Uh, tonight, we're going to look at the recent changes to the result process. Um, so there have been some upgrades in the system. And due to that, there has been some slight changes to the result process. So in, there has been some areas that have already started and I know they've coped with the changes quite well. We just want to prepare those uh, playing areas and regions who are about to start just some of those slight changes and we'll go through them tonight. My name is Matt Atobre. I'm the Club Education and Training Manager and I'll be your host. I do have a co-host in the wings here, uh, Jimmy Whitehead, the Events and Competitions Competition Manager. So Jimmy will be on the questions uh, and he'll be responding with some answers and then we'll bring Jimmy in just to talk about some of those common questions that have been asked by our members. If this is your first webinar, you'll notice that it's quite different to the Zoom meetings. Um, so there's no videos or the ability to talk. Um, it's a little bit like sitting in a cinema and watching. There is that question and answer uh, facility at the bottom so if there are any questions that come out of what we're talking about, please throw them in there and we can discuss them later on. We are recording tonight's uh, session and it will be uploaded uh, uh, to our website so you can share that with your members. The format uh, is going to be pretty quick. It's about 30 minutes tonight. That's, um, so we're going to look at the result process. There are two uh, forms or two, two forms of uh, the result process. There's the home team can finalize. Um, and I will go through the playing areas and regions that use that. And there's the away team confirms. So I'll look at how they're different and who's using them. We'll do a live demo in the, in the system and I'll show you um, those two processes and the slight changes that have appeared in the system. We'll bring Jimmy on and we'll go through some questions. Um, I'll highlight some best practice that we suggest you follow. And then I'll also show you where we have a whole lot of support for Bowls Link. All right, let's have a look at the two processes. So away team confirms the match. These are the playing areas and regions that use this. We're probably about 60, 40 at the moment. So the both teams put their, sorry, both uh, sides put their teams in prior to the game. The home team will match the skips and they will finalize results. So that's slightly different to last year's training. And you'll see this green finalized appear. They can unfinalize results. So the uh, blue complete button, uh, that has disappeared now. Uh, there's, um, we don't use that. Um, so the home team can, if they've made an error with um, the results, they can go back and change that. The away team will check and match the skips if the home team hasn't done it correctly. They'll check uh, the results are correct without the ability to change. So they can appeal the result, but now they can also ask the home team to change that before they confirm. So that's a real big change for this process. The away team, if you do pick up an error, you can call the home team to get that changed before you hit confirm. The confirm button uh, is in a different area at the moment. I have been told it's gonna come back and sit at the bottom as a blue button, but I'll show you where that's sitting currently. All right, so that's the away team. 
can uh, confirms the match. Home team can finalize. So as you can see, we've got quite a few more regions and plane areas that are using this method. Straight away, you can see that the away team lose quite a few capabilities. So it is heavily focused on the home team. This is really important in this process that both teams, sorry, sides, I keep saying teams, teams are, the, are within the side, um, they enter their teams prior to the game. Now, away team, if you have a late change, that needs to be corrected in bowls link before the home team starts matching the skips, uh, entering the results. So this will probably come into best practice, but if there's any late changes for the away team, make sure that's done in bowls link before the game starts. So the home team matches the skips, as I just said, enters the results. They can unfinalize a side match. So if they make an error, they have the ability to change that. Then they hit a blue finalized match. And you'll see that that, that button looks slightly different now in the system. Once that they've hit that blue finalized match, the game is finalized. And you'll see to, tonight, that when a game is finalized, you, lo you lose those spanners in the system. All right, so that's the two processes and that's the areas, plane areas and regions that are using them. Let's have a look at the live system. Okay, I've set up a split screen for tonight's session. I'll just move my video into the middle. On the left, I am gonna sign in as a member who's gonna be the home team. I've already put their um, ID number in and their password. Just a reminder, there's still a lot of our members who have not activated their BowlsLink account. That means they've never signed into BowlsLink. If you are one of those members, new to BowlsLink, click here is the best way to activate your account. You will need to use the email address that your um, club administrator has entered for you. So there could be an error and you may need to check with your club administrator to get that corrected. All right, I'm gonna click the green login. Um, now, this person has now got the choice to select their profile that says to me that this person is a club administrator. And you can see they're a club administrator for Hawthorne Bowling Club, and they've got the My Clubs profile. I had quite a few members today um, saying that they couldn't see their team, couldn't do their teams and results. And that was because they were going in as the club administrator. Just a reminder, we need to use our My Clubs profile. That also, says that people who do teams and results do not need to be club administrators. So we are getting a lot of clubs requesting new club admins just so that they can do teams and results and that's not needed. All right, I'm gonna click the, the club and you'll see Jamie is our, our member. I'm gonna click on competitions. I'll log in on the right now for the away team and this person, this member, Laura, um, doesn't have the club admin, so it's gone straight in as a standard user. And you'll see Jamie has uh, two options underneath competitions, my competitions and my club entries. I'm getting a lot of questions about these two. My competitions are competitions that you've been imported into or you have entered. So you can see here, Jamie has entered club championships and he has been imported into these two competitions down here that we're gonna to use tonight. My club entries are competitions that your club has been entered into. And generally it's gonna be pennant. So you can see Haw Hawthorne here 
has been entered into um, four pennant competitions. Also, just a reminder, My Competitions is where you can uh, enter your region competitions. So you go to Available, you search for your region, and you'll see there's the region events for Yarra. So Jamie can now click the Actions button and he can enter those competitions. So you can see how, real, how important it is that uh, our members activate their BowlsLink account. All right, so we've got two competitions we're gonna look at tonight. So the first one is Away Team Confirms. So I'm gonna click on the Actions button. I've got two options here. I've got Manage Entry and Manage Results. So you will know from the previous training, if I go to Manage Results, that's where I do my teams. If I go to Manage Entry, this is where I can allow other members to do teams and results. So just say, for example, I wanted to do Michael O'Keefe. I wanted him to be to do teams and results. I click the, the edit pencil at the bottom. I just collapse that first profile and I find Michael O'Keefe. There he is with the down arrow. And this is that permissions. So when I tick here and I hit save, Michael O'Keefe can now start doing teams and results. But Michael will need to log into his own Bowls Link account. All right, so I'm going to go back to competitions. This time I'm going to go to manage results. And there's my rounds. We're just going to do round one tonight. I click on view results. And you'll see the teams from both sides have been entered, which is great. All right, so you can see that the blue complete button has now disappeared. And I've been told that that's not going to come back. Um, Jamie has the option to mark the game as unplayed or forfeit. The game was played, so Jamie's now going to put the results in. And you'll see that the difference this year is that you get the green finalized. Now that did not appear last year. It's been a new addition that's been added. All right, I'll do the last team. I wonder whether Jimmy's gonna win this game or not. Okay, oh, goes to Maddie's mates, well done. All right, now let's just say Jamie made a mistake here and um, this team needs, uh, their score needs to change. You can click on the actions button, unfinalized side match, click okay, and then you can update that result. I don't know if it's going to give Jimmy the win or not. Not quite. All right, so that's all that Jamie needs to do. Oh, sorry, Jamie can also match the skips. So let's get Jamie playing Denise now. I can go swap away teams and choose Denise. I can also make a late change. Let's say Helen didn't play that one. There's Jack on cue, thanks Jack. And go to unplayed and hit save. All right, so this can be changed before Laura comes in here and finalizes the game. So I'll go in as Laura now, manage results for round one. You'll see the results are not bold, so they haven't been finalized. Click view results. 
So Laura gets the option to, sorry, gets the option to manage her team. So she can put a sub in here if she needs to. Um, she also gets the ability if Jamie made an error to swap. So actually Heather played against uh, Laura, not Joe. Swap the away teams. Okay, now the big difference is we used to have a blue confirm button. I have been told that that's going to come back down here, but it's not here at the moment. It is sitting, as you saw, in the top actions button. So Laura's happy with that. It's confirmed. The spanners have gone, so the match has now been finalised. Um, if I go back to my competitions and I go to round one again, it's now moved from pending to completed and you'll see it's bold. So that game has been finalized and the spanners have gone. Okay, so that's the changes for home, sorry, away team confirms. Let's do the home team can finalize. So Jamie's the home team. He's going to click on manage results. It's going to go to round one, view results. All right, the sides have been put in, which is great. The big difference is this blue button down the bottom now. So it says to finalize this match, you must have entered results for each rink and the home team must have entered participants. So obviously for most games, it's gonna be the away and the home team that need to be in there. All right, just like before, Jamie can do markers unplayed game or forfeit. It was a played game, so he's gonna put the results in. and gets the same green finalized. Uh, let's do team three. Got a tie there. And the last one. Jimmy might get a win in this one. Oh, he didn't score the level. Okay, you'll notice that that blue finalized match is now active. When I first came in here, um, it wasn't active until the team results were put in. So just like before, Jamie has the ability to unfinalize those if he needs to. He has the ability to manage his team, but he doesn't have the ability to manage Laura's team. So that's why Laura needs to get those late team changes in before Jamie hits finalize at the bottom. Jamie can swap his ranks. So let's get in playing Ben. All right. Finalize match. Spanners have disappeared. So the game has been finalized. All right, Laura comes in. and has lost all ability to finalize that game or even edit that game because Jamie has done it. It'll sit as completed. There we go. And it's not bold because the scores were level. Okay. So just to revise the big changes for here, um, we had that big blue button at the bottom. Um, and then apart from that, it's pretty much the same. All right, we'll get, uh, we'll get Jimmy to come in now.
Hey, mate. Hey, Jimmy. Um, How are we looking with questions? Not a lot, to be honest. Um, the one thing I'd probably go back over, maybe click back a few slides and just make it clearer what playing area is using which system. So um, the home team finalised, which is the one that we, we just went through where the, the button comes up at the bottom. That's them playing areas on the right-hand side to so Murray Valley, Old Summer Asia, Tyrrell, Wimmera, Far Western, Western District, Ballarat, Bendigo, Compassby, Goldfield, Geelong, Shrizleki, Gibsland, up into Murray, Goulburn Valley. So yeah, all of them. I didn't explain, sorry, Jimmy, those red ones are the playing areas that are using Bowls Link for the first time for Pennant. Cool. Awesome. So that so they are using home team finalizers. And then the, the these other competitions, if you just flip back, um, Northern Grampians, North Central, North Wimmera, Karanga Might, Highlands, Metro, Melbourne, and Murray are all using away team finalizers. Excellent. Um, a couple of things. Maddie will cover this in a second, but this question's just come through uh, twice. So this webinar is purely for entering results. There are other webinars that have been recorded before that go over how you enter teams, how you um, give rights for people to be able to enter the teams. Um, go back and watch some webinars. Me and Matty, I reckon, have taken about 100 phone calls on them today. Um, there have been quite a few. And it kind of clogs up the system, um, especially a week leading into most pennants kicking off. So have a look on the website. Matty will show you where they are shortly. Of them webinars, please watch them first before you come through to us. The, the only problem, Jimmy, is that these new additions are not going to be in those previous webinars because they were recorded uh, quite a while ago. But uh, the processes haven't changed a lot. It's just some slight differences. And that's why we went with this uh, extra webinar, just to make sure our members were clear. You just want to show everyone where them the old webinars are. Yep. All right, so this is our BV uh, website. Go to Club Assist and down to Bowls Link. If you are looking to add more club admins and don't do that just for teams and results, that needs to be a club decision there. That's the form that you'll need to click on. Um, once you've filled out that form, it generally takes 24 hours for the admin rights to be added. So Amanda checks that regularly. Uh, here's our help videos. So if you haven't activated your account, please have a look at that one. Um, if you're having trouble entering your state finals, please have a look at that video. We did that for Oz Indoor. And here are our webinars. So, Jimmy, I, I do get still get a lot of new club administrators um, who have been given the role for this season. Membership is a great one to go and watch. It explains how to make your members financial, uh, add categories, um, all those important things that new club administrators uh, need to be on top of. Webinar three, if you haven't done teams and results, I, I go through about five rounds in that webinar. Um, but just from a reminder that it's gonna look slightly different now because of the changes. There is a link at the bottom here to go to our education and training page. I won't click on that because I'll show you where it is up the top. Club Assist, over to education and training. Okay, and if I had some brand new side managers, I would be sending in this one. We've got the famous lawman, John Roberts, who goes through some um, really important conditions of play that uh, side managers really need to be on top of. And again, in there, I do go through three rounds of doing teams and results. So that's another great resource. We do have some a result dispute form, Jimmy, which I probably didn't uh, mention. 
it is probably in our best practice. I'll come to it. So up here in Metro Pennant, I go to uh, across and then down to re results dispute. So if you, obviously a away team confirms, you do have the ability to contact the home team if, to make a late change. But if you notice that the results are incorrect, this is the form to fill out. And there's also the same for regional. And just on that one with regional, um, some, some regions, we, we have set this up for all regions. Um, but some regions have another process of their own that they want you to contest or um, question results. So if, if your region does have that, follow that. Otherwise, if, you, if your region or plan area doesn't have a process, follow this through the website where Maddie's pointing out now, we'll ensure that gets through to the, the relevant person in your region slash um, plan area. I did have a, a few questions today about how do we contact people in our regions? Um, under Club Assist Regional Information and Contacts. That's where you'll get a list of all your uh, board members for each of those regions. There's also access to club details in there as well. Yeah. Um, uh, do you want to just go through best practice as well, Matt? Yeah. So I did mention this a few times tonight, uh, entering teams prior to the game. It's really, that really needs to happen. Um, make sure results and teams are correct before finalizing the match. So home team can finalize. You know, there's nothing to say that you can't sit next to the away side manager and both check it off before you hit finalize. Um, just a reminder though, the away team you need to make those late changes before the home team finalizes. Away team confirms or really finalizes. Um, we need that done straight after the game. You know, there's nothing worse than um, one particular match, you know, taking two days to get confirmed. It just ruins our ladders and it's not fair on the, on the rest of the uh, competition. I do advise keeping your cards. Um, you don't need to use those uh, previous pennant forms. Um, your cards are enough. And do lodge an appeal if you find your results or teams are incorrect. And I've shown you on the BV website. Um, I get a few questions about this. Bowls link uh, is all internet based. So you can access this on your phone, your tablet, your laptop. It doesn't have to be on the club's computer. Um, the app, we we're talking about the app in our meeting this, this afternoon, Jimmy. There's still a few things that need to be ironed out in that app before we're ready for release. So it's not far away, but not quite ready for release. And obviously refer to the Bowls Victoria website for training. So. If you're a new club administrator, or if you're a new side manager, go on and do that training before you start. Yeah, and, and just on that app, um, you might be able to find it in the um, in the app store. But um, and as Matty mentions, there's a few there's a few little errors and bugs in there that need to be ironed out. So we we won't be saying go ahead and use that until they're ironed out. And when we do say it's it's all clear, we will provide training with that too. So. We'll be back here again. Off. <laughs> Another um, webinar, you beauty. Yeah. Uh, one more, one more, which is probably pretty relevant. Can you just show again, logging in and choosing the correct profile? Uh, yes. I'll go to Jamie, I think. So right here is where you, you select it. Um, <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many times people try and click on these gray areas here, Jimmy. So my clubs up here is also where you can access and switch between those two profiles. So if you do want to go to your database, 
you can go to the club underneath club administration. You want to be in my clubs for end of room results. Oh. Yep, that's a common error that's coming through at the moment. Um, people are going to club administration, they're clicking on competitions and they're just not seeing the, the competitions that they need to. And that's because they're in the wrong profile. So it really needs to say member overview on the top left and you should be able to, you should be seeing your profile that you can edit. There's quite a few uh, missing email addresses still that we need to fix up. Any last questions in there, Jimmy? Uh, one, from the... one from Eamon right at the end. Um, have my club entries been activated? I'm going to take that Eamon as meaning it, is your competition available to view? I believe we're all, we're, we either have started pennant or we're all starting this weekend across the state. There might be, I don't know of any, but there might be someone delayed past that. Your competition should be there to view now. Like even if you are starting this weekend, they should be there to, to be able to view. If they're not, contact your region slash playing area. Um, if they're no help, contact Matty's details are on there or at worst case, give me a call. Yeah. And that's probably a shout out to those people in the playing areas and regions that look after competition creation. They do a great job and without them, uh, our competitions wouldn't be ready. All right, Jimmy, we've hit the 30 minute mark. Um, we might leave it at that. Oh. Um, thank you for watching and uh, all the best with your bowls.